Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing some effects from ASAP Mob's rap video. So here's my best impression of being a model. So we're doing some freeze frames, some glitch transitions. Alright, cool, let's get into it. Alright, first things first, we're going to create a new sequence, 4x3 sequence. So what we're going to do is go into settings and set the frame size to 1440 by 1080. That's going to create your 4x3. You click OK. OK, great. Now what I want you to do is drop your footage on. I have green screen footage, as you can see below. I've already pre-keyed it out, so I'm going to drop that in. Basically, it's just a video of me walking in two different directions with two different styles of clothing. OK, now what I want you to do to get that white background, because I didn't shoot it on a white psych wall. I shot it on a green screen. You can create a color mat white okay drop that underneath easy enough you got your white background okay now one thing they had in their video is kind of an old school VHS style tape effect and how we're gonna do that is I'm gonna drag this high 8 grain layer on top of the video I've supplied this for you you can go to my website uh, the link is in the description below to download this all you're going to do is drag that on top of the video, cut it, delete that part, scale to frame size. You might need to make it a little bigger because it's not exactly 4x3. We're going to make it a little bigger. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can blend this. Um, what I found is best is going to hard light and then pulling down on the opacity. That kind of gets the uh, more of an effect of what they had. Other ways you could do it is to put uh, in an overlay. That tends to work. Although in this one, I didn't think it worked enough, especially with the white background. So we're going to go hard light and turn the opacity down. And then you got something like this. Now what I want you to do is go to the point in your video where you want to freeze. Maybe like there when I'm facing myself. Cut the video pull those bits out because we're going to want them to walk away and pull out one frame. Now cut it again and on this frame I want you to add a frame hold and add a frame hold and then drag this out to length however long you want the freeze to last. Let's say like a second and a half or something. And then we'll drag our continuation on, elongate these, freeze, and then continue on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the glitch transition. What I'd like you to do is nest the entire sequence. Nest. Name it whatever. I'm going to leave it as nested sequence. Okay, what I want you to do is find the sequence you're in and change the sequence settings to 1920 by 1080 or 16 by 9. Click OK. OK, so now you have the effect inside a 19 by 20 window, just like in the music video. Now to make the transition, the glitch transition effect. OK, so what I want you to do is you go to the where the cut happens. Go left 10 frames. Go right 20 frames. I use shift left arrow and shift right arrow to nudge forward 10 frames and backwards 10 frames. Now I want you to take this little 20 frame transition and I want you to alt drag it three, twice, just twice. You'll have three copies. Leave a space in between for an adjustment layer. So create a new adjustment layer and drag it in these spaces. Okay, now that you have that, what we're going to do is create a simple RGB split. We're going to use arithmetic, drag it onto the top layer. And what I want you to do is go to effect controls, operator max, turn the red all the way up, change the blend mode to linear dodge add, copy that, go to the middle clip, paste, turn the red value down, turn the green value all the way up set it to linear dodge add and paste the arithmetic on the bottom layer change the red value to zero 
and the blue value to 255. You don't need to change this one to linear dodge. It looks normal. Looks like we did absolutely nothing. But we did a lot. So what now I want you to do is go to effects. Go to distort video effects. Distort lens distortion. Drag it onto your top layer. I'm going to go to effect controls. And you're going to make sure you're on the cut. Set a keyframe on the curvature and put it to something like minus 15. Great. Now you're going to go to the beginning, bring it down to zero, and go to the end and put it down to zero. So you have this kind of warpy effect with a little bit of a zoom in. Now, what I want you to do is copy that lens distortion onto the middle adjustment layer. You can see we're already getting the glitching. We need one more layer, so we're going to paste it onto the bottom layer. Copy paste, and boom. You got your glitch transition with the RGB split. You can go even more crazy with this if you want. You can you know, really increase this, let's say minus 50. Change the middle one. Minus 50, top one, minus 50, play back. Now you got a real, a real outrageous RGB transition. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Have a good day.